What up, Basement Family? Listen, we want you to check out our Patreon page. Go support us on Patreon. We got live shows that go on once a month where we actually call you up and we do blooper reels. So I decided today to give you an example of what it is you're missing by not being a patron, okay? You're gonna see an example of one of our blooper reels, just about half of it. I'm not gonna give you everything because that's for the patrons, but it's hilarious. You're gonna love it. We do uh, behind the scenes debates, debates that you don't hear or see normally on the show on YouTube right here. So, without further ado, check out last month's blooper reel, just a snippet. And think about joining us on Patreon. Support your boys. Support the show. Peace. Based in Africa. The first Marvel comic movie based in Africa. Let's get it. It's always gonna be somebody there of my own race telling us, you can't do that. This one, you look stupid. Only the white people can do that. Okay. When they make the next all black <laughs> cast Marvel movie that grosses 250 million, call me. I, I I'll be sure to wear my dashiki there as well. If you wanna wear your dashiki up there, you wear your dashiki up there. Man. No, that's not what he said. He said you look stupid. You, you look, look ridiculous. You look ridiculous, man. No, the, the, to, to people like him, see a cartoon and you wear your dashiki, man. They do it all the time. White people get to do it. They wear their Viking costume to go see Thor. It's no problem, man. That's what that's about, though. That's what Black Panther is about. It is not. A, it is. I just saw it, bro. Not about dashiki. It is about dashiki. <laughs> it's all about dashiki, son. <laughs> That's exactly what it's about. Hello. <laughs> What's wrong with us? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just not about dashiki, man. Yeah. yeah that, so when they go and watch store, they they wear the Viking uniform. It's not about Vikings. It's about them being able to express them their their thoughts huh? but black panther what? is definitely about african garb is definitely about all of that well he's telling you he's not disputing that his widows in every crowd he's just saying don't look like an asshole out here for the movies that like the theme of the movie is not about that it is about that it wasn't about that it's definitely about that it's all about that you know that's not about that it's all about that. <laughs> They're all wearing African garb and African masks is a big pop point in the beginning of the movie, as a matter of fact. See, you just got to watch it. Yeah. People just talk stuff. It's, not a lot, it's a lot easier to talk foolishness when you when you have no facts. It's hard to it's hard to prove a negative. So, you got it. That's just when you say, you're right. You got it. It's not about that. Oh, you never man. seen it, but it's not about that. Get it, man. You're correct. <laughs> Jeezy and Loader is, for every two of those type of niggas it is, it's 500, not 500, but about 100 to 200 well, niggas. Well, the reason why I said 500 is because Atlanta, at that time, probably wasn't as much. But right now, it's like, what, like 15 million people? 10 to 15 million yeah. people in Atlanta? Nah, I mean. So really, it, it could be 500 yeah. other niggas. Trying to get on talking yeah, like, like that. Like, just in, inside of three different apartment complexes. Yeah. And there could be two, three hundred yeah, niggas yeah. like that don't do that. And uh, so my point was, out of those two, three hundred niggas, one will actually pop. Yeah. Which is the problem? Four will pop. It, which is enough to make a little. That's little, the whole little, problem little in the game because yeah. there, there becomes the distortion because they're lying. They're lying. And somebody's believing them. Yep. So that's that's the whole problem in the game. It's not per se the Jeezys or the Lows that actually did what they saying they did. It's the, uh, the hundred niggas that come behind me. Well, well, I don't think... I never said it was them. What I'm saying is it became the thing where it wasn't about 
Which, how you, it wasn't about the rapping. People thought that it was just because you had to have the cred. Right. Like before you had a false hope. hope. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. It becomes a false hope. Because, like I said, you have a better chance blowing knowing how to rap. Being you. Yeah, yeah, knowing how to rap. But about they, your they, own life. Then try to say I, I, I sold twenty keys. The, like you got a better the white chance. White oligarchs. In our in our industry, make that sure that over, you make sure that that was what. And I don't know if they did it on purpose or not. It doesn't even matter. The point is, they they have a, a um, expectation an that they ag- already a, expect an agenda. And well, no, they have an expectation of what a black person should think. They think it is. And so when they hear somebody talking about the drugs and the rapping and this and that, like that's real. I'm not even sure and about so the expectation. Folks, the it's just what happens would, would is love to push when that. you see somebody like Jeezy. Who, if you remember, at the time, there was a bidding war going on about him because his street credibility was so much hot through the roof. Mm -hmm. With the BMF thing, you had Diddy, who was signing him to Bad Boy South. You had Def Jam. That was unheard of. I I had never heard a nigga sign the two deals at one time. Yeah. Like So if you remember, so when that happens, now they're saying, like, oh, well, you got to be like that. You got to be like that. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what I'm saying. That's the expectation I'm talking about that the oligarch puts on it because we as black people know that that's not the only thing. And it's not we realistic. It. Yeah, like that a nigga is going to come to the record label in the Porsche. Like, they, <laughs> that's, they, not, that's what they were seeing, though. Like, oh, well, here's our black exploitation. You know, this here's, here's this the is what hip hop is this right is now. This is what hip hop is. And so they were like, let's get some so more. Like when somebody like Joe Buttons, who can rap his ass off, starts has the guts to actually say, I jumped out my Toyota and my beat up Tim's. It's no, like, that's nah, not, that's, that's not, that's not, yeah, not that's not it right there. That's not it right there. So thank like uh, and I so I appreciate the J. Coles and the niggas that break through and just, you know, add that to the game. Like, yo, you don't gotta be like that, man. You you don't it, you don't gotta be like that. Yeah, that was one of his 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 his, his big guns. Now, I'm gonna build a wall so that the Mexicans can't get over here. Oh, that's no that's the biggest gun. That was, Build that wall, man. That was <laughs> that was one of his big sellers. Um, and at that point, you knew like, yeah, he's going for the divide and conquer type shit. He's yeah, win too. See, so you got the campaign slogan: "We're gonna make America great again." We're gonna, you know, it's going back to the good old America. Like, oh yeah, we know what that uh, means. Yeah, we know. Black people, <laughs> we know what that means. I know how that means as it relates to us. Like right. I know, we know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. You know when you think it was great. <laughs> 50, 60. percent sure. Yeah, definitely the most comedic. Like I, I gotta say, like he's the, he's the funniest by far. Come down, come down my way. Seem like you haven't. Shoulder to lean on all day, all day, all day. Let me be the one to decide if it's gonna be provided for you. What's lopsided to you is dividing the truth of what's real. So just calm down. My way. Seem like you haven't had a shoulder to lean on all day. When we first had Lushki, I told you I loosely. Had to change my way, walk a new street And down on Jenny Lane's, find a new oh, me Thank God I've evolved from afar when it's all done and said There's a bullet in the barrel in this place on your head Or a second from a hero with a brightly glowing halo And she may be playing cellos in a lightly epic rhythm Life is an automate